I want, first of all, as you can see, I have no paper in my hand. I want to speak from their heart. First of all, if you allow me, I would like to thank all the other candidates. I read all their profiles, their visions, and I promise you, as I implement the programs under the Development Bureau, I will take into account your ideas and we will be in touch. So I'm most grateful for your efforts. I'm also most grateful for the permission that you received from ad your administrations to give space so that we conclude this matter in a timely manner. You know what I stand for. I stand for development and I stand for impact, human impact. My vision is very simple. Meaningful connectivity, meaningful skills development and bridging the skills gap because this is what faces most of the developing countries, but also to accelerate digital transformation. I spent many years, and I'm thankful to ITU and the entire membership for giving me an opportunity to serve. I have been to every region. I've been able to interact with the ordinary people and understanding exactly what their needs on the ground are. The least developed countries continue to lag behind the rest of the world. Africa has the largest number, 28 now countries. Asia-Pacific follows. It also quite has a number of countries that are lagging behind and are still least developed countries, despite the fact that Maldives, Tuvalu, they graduated in Samoa, they graduated from the LDC category. I know the problems of the small island developing states because I have been involved in a lot of activities in those regions, sea rise, climate change, and other challenges, earthquakes, uh, tsunami, etc. But I also understand the issue of the landlocked developing countries that they do not have access to the sea and they cannot have access to submarine cables and they depend on coastal countries so their relationship with the coastal countries is very important. When they have access, the cost is prohibitive. And the bandwidth in terms of connectivity is very small and low. And then therefore they remain, they are connected but not connected fully. And that's what we should be doing for. I'm very fortunate that uh, over the past three years, I've been in charge of a department responsible for all the projects in the development sector, but also strategic relationships with the private sector and the industry. And I know the private sector has the capacity to go out there and make sure that they develop and invest in infrastructure, which is resilient, robust, and also efficient and dependable. And that is what we want. We want to give space to the private sector because they are the development engine. We are best placed because we are able to help countries to create an enabling environment in terms of policy, legal framework, and regulatory framework. And I promise you that once I take office, we are going to cement the relationship between member states, the regulators, and the private sector for the good of every nation state, small or big. One of the key issues that I care about is the issue of gender. And you will see, we will not be doing a lot of talking, we'll be doing a lot of doing. I believe that the girls and women are an idol engine that just needs us to put our foot on the accelerator so that we move in the right direction. And we cannot develop when we don't have that category because women are powerful in the sense that they are our mothers, our sisters, not to mention that they are mothers of our children.
So we have to take care of that. But the youth are the future. And definitely we are going to accelerate. Like I said in my, in my manifesto, we wanted to take the BDT to new heights. Those that came before me have done a lot of good work. And they built the foundation. And I'm there ready to build the house. And we are going to do it. We can't do it alone. We will do it with the membership private sector, member states, and I commit here that we will be listening to the member states. We are not going to set our own agenda. Secondly, I know that we are a federal structure. There are the elected officials. We have our own lands. I'm not going to be trespassing into other lands because there is so much that we can do for developing countries and also developed countries. Triangular arrangements, partnerships with the regional organizations, with the development banks, with the member states. And this money that comes to us is money from the taxpayers. And we must remain transparent, accountable, and efficient. And I commit here, I'm going to serve with honesty, and seriousness, results, best management. You will read a little about, we did a workshop in Tonga, but you will read about the impact that we made in Tonga. And with these few words, I thank you so much for giving you the trust. Those that voted for me, I thank you. Those that didn't vote for me, I thank you. We are all one. And I know together we are going to achieve greater things. Thank you very much.